Hello and happy new year. Happy new year. <laughs> Welcome back, real estate and relationships. How's everybody doing today? Doing great. How about you? I'm fantastic. That's good. Yeah. 2021. 2021. Can you believe it? We made it. We did make it. <laughs> it was um definitely a memorable, one of the most memorable years of my adult life. How about y'all? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, 2020. Woo! Gotta think, mm. it starts, it changed in March. Exactly. And it's pretty much still going on, but it's not as the to the extreme when we when we when COVID. Um, I don't want to say first came on the scene, but when we were made aware of COVID. Exactly. Yeah. We went four seasons, mm -hmm. and wow. Yeah. <laughs> now we gotta wear a mask every day. But you know, good thing we all here, we healthy. None of us got sick. Mm -hmm. So, amen. To yeah, that. thank you for that. Yeah. Amen. Thank amen. You. So we're gonna get right into it because I know, you know, some people have real estate goals or goals to become a real estate agent this year. So I just want to really quickly tell people. The day in a life or the, the routine of a realtor. Now, when I say the routine of a realtor, I'm talking about a full-time realtor, one who does nothing else except sell real estate. And here we go. So can, can anybody tell me what they think a full-time realtor does? <laughs> Dang! <laughs> I'm a part-time realtor, but I think that a full-time realtor has to do a lot of time blocking. Oh, yeah. My exactly. broker taught me that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, now, explain, though, what, what do you mean by time blocking? Time blocking, pretty much just organizing your time accordingly. So, for example, from 9 to 11, you may be looking for new leads. From 11 to 12, you may be, you know, doing some uh, social media posts to, you know, uh, get yourself out there more mm -hmm. or and then throughout the day, uh, another time blocking the next uh, couple hours, you may be returning phone calls, returning emails, and mm -hmm. uh, following up. Mm -hmm. What do you think uh, full-time realtors are doing? Showing homes. Okay. Also, um, talking to a lot of uh, maybe your clients or potential clients. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. I think you'd be on the phone a lot, probably not probably on the phone, but in your phone. <laughs> Always in yeah, your phone. Yeah, in your phone <laughs> because you got to think a phone is a computer now. Yeah. So yeah. a lot of times you 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 may not communicate over the phone. It's through emails, text, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. So I say you spend a lot of time with your head down in your phone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So y'all might have noticed Mel and Mika's answers were completely different. But guess what? They are both right on <laughs> point. And how is that possible, right? Well, um, you know, a lot of people don't know, but there are many different types of realtors. Mm -hmm. So um, when Yamika said that a real estate agent is showing homes most of the day, that's usually what a buyer's agent does. And a buyer's agent is somebody who works with buyers, mostly, right? And so what Mel said stated is what a listing agent someone who primarily works with homeowners does so both answers are exactly right and exactly on point and then again of course some agents do both so um in that case you would make your calls nine until eleven right looking for new business then say eleven until one you would follow up or return calls from current clients. And then, long story short, after 3 o'clock is when the showings will happen. So, <laughs> that's a very busy realtor. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. That is a busy realtor. I remember my first year because I was working 9 a.m. until 10 p.m. It didn't stop. <laughs> when do you take lunch? Um, well, yeah, we did take lunch. Okay. We used to take good lunches, actually. <laughs> to the bar. <laughs> Downtown. Okay. Let's get some snacks and drinks at the okay. same time. But, okay. you know, um, yeah. I know sometimes days can be hectic and you look up and be like, I didn't even eat today. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. 
Thank goodness, I, I I don't really work that hard anymore. You just work, you work smarter. Yeah, you don't have to work as hard. Leveling up, yeah, yeah that's what leveling up is. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. yeah, so that's a day in the life of a realtor. But yeah, you got to do, you know, show homes, call people, do your own marketing if you have a small team or you don't have a marketing specialist. So, needless to say, realtors are busy. <laughs> so, that was our real estate update. What's up with that relationship question you've been holding hostage all day and don't want to let us... Yamika Shade don't like to give us a heads up because she wants us to have a natural reaction. Yeah. Why should it? Why reaction. should it be rehearsed? I mean, this is not Angela Bassett and this is not Denzel. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's not going to be rehearsed. So... The question um, that I got was, work husband, work wife. Woo! That's deep. <laughs> work husband, work wife. So, oh, let me ask oh, you, I when got I it. say that, mm. what do you think it means? Mm. I, I kind of, my mind just goes right to the big three. <laughs> the question. And you know what? The person that posed the question is works for the big three. Mm. Yes. 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 Ooh. That's a good and deep topic. Yes. Oh. So much so. We need to drink. Go ahead and bring out this drink. Bring it on ah. out. You brought this, this whiskey? Yeah, no mm. whiskey. Jameson. Black Bear. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see what so it while is. he opened it at Tina. Yeah. Do you think of the big three as well when Work hard for work wife. I was waiting on Mel's answer because I was about to be like, what? You're talking about the plant? <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was my response. That was, that was in my so, head. So, why do you the both plant. say the plant? I say it because it's always just been a rumor. I, I never worked in the plant. I worked in the plant for one day <laughs> in my life. You? And I left at lunch. <laughs> 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 but I've heard just over a lifetime that a lot of plant people have a work husband or a work wife. I don't know how true it is, but I'm assuming it's got to be. Just because for years, for years we've been hearing that. Well, my per my relationship in my DM, it does exist. Because Ooh. this person is a work husband. Oh, really? He admitted to that? Yes. Oh, so what's his question? Down. Toast to 2021. Work husband. Oh, not no work husband. <laughs> Are you a work husband Are or a work, work wife? Mm. Comment below. Yeah. Let like, us subscribe, know. comment. Yeah. Let us know on a download type of way. But yeah. let us know. Yeah. <laughs> so, basically, he take, he, he take, well, basically, she's the work Ooh. wife. They take care of each other. Uh, okay. He... She, she makes sure that he eats. She brings she, him lunch She every brings day. him a lunch. He, wow. well, he, and then, like, I believe, like, a food truck or something comes up to the plant on whatever days or whatever, and he, he does makes sure she gets her snacks. Yeah, or what? But the thing about it is, one is married. Is it the husband or the, the woman? It's the, the work husband that's married. Now, he said his work wife. You hear this? Mm. No, he's, he, he. He said his, him and his work wife are not intimate, but they just look out for each other because they've been working on the line on the same team for like ten years. I don't think it's his work wife for him. Are they? Flirting? I don't think he's telling the truth about are they that. Flirting? Cause he just don't want to put it in right. Oh, wait, he was they... the one who initiated this question to you. Yes. And he's the one that's married. Yes. Oh yeah, he can't. He can't. He can't, exactly. But I don't, I mean, but his question is. His wife is watching right now. <laughs> exactly. What's his, up, question, he, his question <laughs> is, is it wrong Woo. to have a work wife? Oh, no, no, Jason. No, she this is only ice. just a rock. Oh, no, honey. Give me some of that Sierra, miss. Come on, this is just a rock. <laughs> so, I need to answer the question. <laughs> He wants to know, is it wrong for him to have a work wife? Of course Absolutely. it is. Absolutely. Even 
if they're not having sex, so he says, it's an emotional connection. And that can be even worse. Because she's making sure he eat every day. If you don't care about somebody, you're not going to make sure they eat every day. I don't know if that's the big deal for me. The, the big deal for me is that the fact that he's posing the question says something. Again, they're in each other's heads. That's deep. Yeah. An emotional connection? And I'm very sure they probably leave work every day saying they got to work and not going to work. Yeah. He said they not because I asked him. I said, well, are y'all intimate? He said, no. You know, he was like, we just look, we just look out for each other. Mm -hmm. He had to say that. He said what? He had to say that. <laughs> but why ask? Why ask? He just wants to well, because he knows it's wrong. I guess some you people think feel like he wants us to say it's okay. I don't know. It's not okay, bro. He just <laughs> it's not okay, bro. You wrong. <laughs> I get that you're spending 10 to 12 hours a day at this yeah. place. You probably spend more time there than with your actual wife, but it's wrong, bro. Give it up. So is it wrong on the on the female's part? The the the, the lady at work. Yeah. Um. Does he does she know he married? I'm very sure everybody in the plant <laughs> know everybody business. I don't. I I mean again. Everybody know everybody business. She, they know who they had worked on their face. Who. Mama and dad, they know everything. The plan is like high school. It is. That's a deep question. Because that could take us to... I she's say, okay with being a side lady. I say it sh that she is wrong because he's married. Exactly. She's pretty much the married. side lady. Well, I said this. <laughs> he made a commitment to his wife. She didn't. Right. He's, the, he's the one who has a I commitment. I gotta take a drink to that. Who he's the one that has a commitment and and has. Let's say, oh, I think I'm gonna need some of that CMS too. <laughs> Lord, this Jesus. this is like um, yeah, this is black, all right. Twenty twenty one. Lord, Ooh. all right. But yeah, she, um, you know, he has a commitment to his wife. The lady at work could be thinking in her head, oh, I'm just being nice. Cooking her food every day. I ain't cooking food every day for somebody I do not like. When does she vow? <laughs> Who does she vow to be faithful to? You right? But he vowed to be faithful. You right. You right about that. So, so all in all, we can never be right. Uh, we can never be mad at the side <laughs> man or woman. No, that's not what <laughs> I'm saying. But in this case, I am. Uh -huh. So she not we not she not a side chick because she just bring a dinner. Mm, I don't believe she's just bringing dinner, but okay. She's, she's a whole side chick. <laughs> she's a whole side chick. Because you know, the at the plants, we know that they go hit them bars after work. What you mean? The bar hard. is up at, on uh, the line. Okay, huh? Oh, well, now it's just private parties. Yeah, the, yeah but, but the, back in the day, it was the bar. Yeah, but the bar be on the line, too. Oh. Oh, yeah, they drink and do that. Yeah, the they be having water bottles full of vodka. That's why. Some cars you don't need to be. There'd be a lot of recalls. A lot of recalls. <laughs> that's deep. So that takes you to is it is it like okay to be? Uh, is the situation okay if they wasn't at work? What you mean? It's still not okay, right? No. How about not, for the, how about for the side piece? The side piece to do what? Is she wrong? Because she got a good point. She said side piece didn't take a. Uh, about her from the guy and everybody else. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't get, you know, you can't get mad at the, uh, at the, the man or the lady. Because sometimes men be sad pieces too. Right. <laughs> it's not always the lady. So that's a good question for yeah. our viewers. Yeah. Would you rather be the husband or wife or the side piece? Why, why not? Comment, like, subscribe, let us know. Let us know. What would you like? Because you could be married, right? And just because you got that ring, you feeling special, but your husband cheating. <laughs> I'm gonna say that like <laughs> basically. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. Don't judge. The wife, it, you know, it, 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 you know, it's nice, you know, whatever. But sometimes it ain't cracked up what, what it should be, you know. And it probably depends on who, you know, who you married to. But, you know, if the man is cheating, I would say the wife is doing all the work. 
She making sure the bills paid. Taking care of the kids. The, the side chick, she having all the food. Exactly. She just, yeah. I mean, they screwing. They eating good. I'm not saying me and the husband not eating good, but it's like they having all the fun. I'm doing, I'm taking care of all the business at home. I mean, I may have access to all the bank accounts, you know, or whatever, but, you know, this girl. <laughs> I'm access to all the bank accounts. This girl probably, you know, me and him probably arguing, but they having, you know, fun and stuff. So I just. Oh. That's why that stuff never works because it's just big fantasy island. Yeah, it's it's not real. But some of you're them, getting all but, the good and none of the bad. But some of them have some of them have the same side chick for like years and years. Back. But some yeah. women said that they'd rather be the side piece than the because man. they don't want to do what the take responsibility. Yeah, right, right. And the, sometimes when the man leave the wife and try to be with the side piece, she'd be like, "No, I don't even. I'm not even trying to do that. She don't, want, she don't yeah. want the real job. Yeah. yeah. Could y'all be a side piece? If you get for the fun for the fun part, you get. You I know. think all women have been a side piece, whether they knew it or not. Oh, that one. Like, <laughs> that one. Yeah. So Mel, what's going on in the business world? Well, yeah. uh, just a lot of uh, networking. Networking. A lot of okay. networking. Now, how are we networking with um, COVID? Because I know what we used to do: go to events. Go to parties, exchange cards. What's different now? Um, we said this uh, on a prior episode, but for me, I really enjoy inboxing people. Mm-hmm. I need to do more. So of that. you're successful with that? Yeah, my broker told me to uh, try to reach out to about twenty <laughs> Who is people. Who this broker you keep talking about? She's an amazing lady, <laughs> Christina Willis. dot com. <laughs> oh my wait a minute, what's this broker? <laughs> Oh, yeah, and by the way, we are looking to really expand this team in 2021. So, talk to Mel, talk to Katina. We trying to grow. Blow up. (laughs) Not not grow, blow up. Mm -hmm. 2021. What else, though, Mel? (laughs) Just, uh, that's all I really been doing. Excuse me. Uh Uh-oh. Excuse me. Rona ain't Rona. Rona. (laughs) No, I think that's... uh, Lord! Jameson. You sure? (laughs) They say they got that vaccine. (laughs) I'm not taking it. (laughs) Look, before we even get to that random, let's talk about that vaccine. How do we feel about it? Because I had a conversation just today with a friend, you know, and she was saying that her mom is going to get it. And so, you know, I, I was just saying that I'm just skeptical again because they created it so fast. But at the same time, I don't take a flu shot anyway. You know, so, and, and a lot of people in the health field, they writing us saying, oh, you should really take a flu shot this year. So what y'all feel? Nope, not done it. Nope. <laughs> Why nope. not? Why not? <laughs> it seems rushed and it seems too good to be true. Did y'all see the stuff on Instagram where people took it and they faces messed up yeah that I saw, that's a good question I don't, know. Mm. I don't know that's a good question is it real because that's scary for me as me being a melanated lady i just don't trust it because we've been experimenting on it before and i will mm-hmm. not be a part of the experiment mm-hmm. um so i say I'm going to wait for a lot, whole lot of other people go first. Mm. Then we'll go on because, you know, I don't want to come up, you know, Next five up. years later, they say, uh, you took COVID-19 shot <laughs> vaccine <laughs> December 30th of 2020. We have a class action lawsuit. Mm. Then mm. when all the lawyers get a hold of it, you get $2. Ain't not enough money. It's not yeah. enough money. So, you know. I mean, when people that, not no, money. people that work in the health field, you know, they have to take it, you know. So I said, let's let's see what that what that does. But I'm they just, but they firmly believe it. They firmly believe in it, though. And you know, because maybe they see things that we don't see. But I'm yeah. just gonna sit back and see what happens to them, and I'm just gonna continue to pray, wash my hands, wear my mask, and you know. Okay. And the way I feel about it, did they ever come up with a vaccine for or something to cure cancer yet? <laughs> exactly. So how in the world did they just figure this out a few months? It was Fire called, it was called op- op- 
Operation uh, Warp Speed. <laughs> that's how they came up with it. Oh, that's good. Mm. Yeah, because look, there's no cure for HIV. It's not. Mm -hmm. Or is it a cure or not? You, you can just take medicine. They say you can take medicine. You have um, low um, whatever. But I'm still, somebody tell you I got it, but I'm taking this medicine. You still, you're not going to hit it still, right? No. Okay, all right. The only person that say that is Kanye. He said you can live through anything if magic made it. The old Kanye or the new one? The old Kanye or the new one? That was the old Kanye. Okay. Uh, I probably listen to the old Kanye, but the new one out here with his um, band and shit, his church band, no. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's enough for me. It's enough? No vaccine, for sure. No vaccine. No vaccine for you, too? I'm good. Good to go. Well, no vaccine for me, baby. No vaccine. I'm letting everybody go. Everybody. Everybody. Go first. Yeah. That's probably why they just raised the little Trump. That's probably why they okay with raising the stimulus to 2000 <laughs> What? They're going to try to get us to take a vaccine. Uh -oh. What, they going to say in order to get your check? They might. Oh. There's going to be a lot of people taking it, too. <laughs> well, I'll find another way to get it. Well, like well, I'm straight. I'm, I just two. I, I just take an L on the two grand. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's a cap on it. If you make only a, a certain amount, right? You make over seventy-eight thousand. It's over. So that take a lot of people off the game, right there. Mm -hmm. Y'all think it should be a cap? No, me either. There should be no cap. No. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. What's yeah. a random of the day? Nail polish. What about, don't you like nail polish? I love nail polish. Okay, what about? But I don't want to see you with no nail polish on. No, I'm straight on nail polish. Um, oh, she got the red. Yes. Got the I red popper today. On. Okay, so you have a lot of, like, sports players mm -hmm. that wear, like, nail polish. Like men? Yeah. Oh, like Dennis Rodman. I don't want to say to the extreme, like, Dennis Rodman, where, you know, they may, you know, have it on their toes, or... Are we talking clear or color? Color. Oh, that's taking it too far. <laughs> You're tripping, bro. They say that's metrosexual. You're tripping. What's metrosexual? What does that mean? Um... We should Google it, huh? Like... Because <laughs> what I'm probably saying, I'm thinking it's one thing, but... Let's see. Google it. I thought it was somebody that is well... In touch with their feminine side. Oh, okay, okay. Let's see. But what's the question, though? What do, you wear. what do you think about it? Would you, if a guy, if a guy came, if a guy was interested in you and you looked down, his, I wouldn't like and his toes was painted <laughs> black. She said I wouldn't like say, it. say a young urban like heterosexual it. man with liberal political views and interest in fashion, yep, and a refined sense of taste. Mm. So like Dwayne Wade. He look like he'll he probably do that. He, would, he, he does wear nail polish and culottes. Mm. What's the guy name on uh, Love and Hip Hop, though? I can't think of it. A1. 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 Yeah, yeah. A1. Yeah. Like, with his polish. Yeah, and he wear charm bracelets. <laughs> <laughs> I so, think they all take him a little bit too far, but to each his own. That's what you like to do. Yeah. Do thing. I'm just not rocking with it. What? That's not my cup of tea. What else you got for us? I know you I got have, more wearing. I you got have more nothing exciting. Um, I do, but it's, it's kind of like after dark stuff. It's a new year, so. Oh, yeah. I think it's dark outside. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not that dark. She said it ain't that dark. I'll save it for R&R &R after dark. Ooh. Coming soon. Oh, yeah. So that means you got to like, subscribe, comment. Oh, yeah. And so watch to the it. end. So you can get the info. R and R after dark coming soon. Yeah. So 2021. Mm hmm What does it bring? What should it bring? What do you hope it brings? End of COVID. Exactly. Uh, end of wearing a mask just to walk into a store. Uh, end of people getting sick, you know, and going to the hospital. Yeah. Um, the beginning of our new normal. But what if the mass is our new normal? <laughs> Let's see. Listen, in 2021, if they can't figure it out, 
I just don't know. They're going to figure it out eventually. The worst part is leaving your mask in your car and you get to the door and you realize you ain't got it. That long walk back to the car. <laughs> that's the walk of shame right now. <laughs> you know, let's revert back to something. Let's go back. Let's reverse, reverse. Reverse. It's I got a random, but it's really somebody else's random that somebody did slide in my DM and say. Let's talk about it. It wasn't a question. They stated, if I'm not wearing a condom, why should I wear a mask? <laughs> oh. We're not re We're recording. Yeah. That's deep. I said you should. Because it's the law. I said because they said before you, you walk out by no law. <laughs> before you walk into a place and say you must wear a mask, it don't say you must wear a condom. My, <laughs> oh, I said you should be wearing condoms anyway. But <sighs> y'all might see me bopping my head over here because we're listening to old school in the background. Mm -hmm. It's 2021. I think everybody should drop a comment on what your favorite old school jam was. Yes. Because this one playing that is from what? Eighth grade. Super yes. Supersonic? Super. Uh, yes. Like Supersonic. <laughs> Why you say Supersonic? Supersonic. When she said eighth grade. I think it was oh, eighth no, grade. I think that's the name of this song. I don't know. Oh, you looked at it like you was in eighth grade when this came out. Now, no, 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 no. <laughs> Nah, I was looking. Well, name a, uh, one of your favorite old school songs. Old school songs? I would have to say... Mmm, that's a good one. What's your favorite, Mika? One of your favorite old, old school, school songs? Hip-hop, R&B, whatever. LL Cool oh. J. Which one? I'm bad. I'm bad. And let me tell you why. My uncle, Tony, took me to my first concert. It was an LL Cool J concert at Cobo Hall. LL came out. No, it was a big radio with two oh, tape yeah. decks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bob Pat was up there scratching. Uh -huh. He pushed Eject. LL Cool J popped out the um. <laughs> I was 11 years old. Mm. I like to die. What? He jumped out the tape deck. He was like, oh. <laughs> oh, my God. No. Yes. 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 He was like, <laughs> That was the best shit ever right there. I can't yes. think of the name of my favorite song, but I know it's by Barry White. What? Name, name a good one. Practice What You Preach. Oh. That's that it. was your favorite song? Yeah. That's your favorite old school? I had old parents, yep. Oh, okay. Oh, um, it's one of my hits. I or know. Al Green. Oh, you got an old soul. Old soul. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. But we're going to take it back to old school hip-hop, I would have to say, um, man, that's deep. Old school hip hop. You gotta go with the. Uh, was Bobby hip -hop. Brown kind of hip hop a little bit? That's my prerogative. My prerogative. Yeah. He was that's a bad it. boy of R and B. That's it. As Whitney said, he's the king of R and B. Mm. All right, so that's um your first episode down of real estate relationships. We are still looking for some great artists. If you're a musician or if you have a new product or new service, something that you want to share, especially in the local area of Metro Detroit, mm -hmm. drop us a comment, go in the DMs. We are trying to put a great lineup together so that we can um, help some great people to just share their offerings to the world. To the world for you. <laughs> so yeah, definitely. We we're trying to put this lineup together. Drop a comment below. And definitely contact one of us. Yeah. We want to talk to you. We want to talk to you. Yeah. Take this ride with us in 2021. It's going to be sweet. Yes. All right. Real estate relationships. relationships. We out. Peace. See you next time.